Hello, my name's Gabby Dorney and I'm so excited to be here today because I'm going to tell you all about our new book. It's the third book in a series written by me and illustrated by the amazing Alex Barrow. It began with if I had a dinosaur, which imagines what life would be like with a really, really, really enormous pet. A dinosaur. Then we decided to slow things down a bit and we imagined what life would be like with a really slow, relaxed, gentle, laid back, possibly even yoga loving pet. And this is, this resulted in if I had a sleepy sloth. Okay, we really shake, shook things up for the third book. And we switched on our imaginations to full volume. And we came up with, way if I had a unicorn. Now this imagines what life would be like not with an enormous pet, not with a really slow, relaxed, take it easy kind of pet, but with a magic pet. In this case, a unicorn. And like the other two books, it even has a textured cover, which is a bit of a bonus. I really want a magic pet to grant my wish each day. For breakfast, we'd eat candy floss and oh, what games we'd play. Imagine if I had a unicorn. So shall we read the book and then we can talk a little bit more about it. <gasps> Look at these, they're called end papers at the beginning and the end of a book, a picture book or any sort of book. And Alex has drawn the most beautiful, beautiful unicorns there. If I Had a Unicorn, written by Gabby Dorney and illustrated by Alex Barrow, published by Thames and Hudson. Wow, look at those lovely end papers. The beautiful unicorns. So lovely. Hey, that unicorn looks very lively. It says, this unicorn belongs to, and then you can write your name. Ah, you might like to help me read this page, because instead of some of the words, Alex has drawn pictures. So, it starts, I think I'd like a fairy. We've got a garden gnome. A ooh, giant would be awesome, but there's no spare room at home. I couldn't keep a mermaid. We don't live by the sea. A dragon would be kind of cool, but way too hot for me. I really want a rainbow pet, a little like a horse, with lots of extra superpowers. A unicorn, of course. Oh, if I had a unicorn, each day we'd make a wish. My unicorn would toss his mane and grant it with a swish. For breakfast, we'd eat jelly. For lunch, we'd nibble cakes. For tea, we'd munch on cookies dipped in dreamy chocolate shakes. My unicorn would click his hooves. We'd travel far and wide. Oh, each day a new adventure. Just imagine, what a ride. Unicorns are magic. I'm pretty sure they fly. They like to take their exercise across. 
across a rainbow sky. If I had a unicorn, we'd make the garden grow with every single blossom in a flower power show. Unicorns spread glitter. They like to keep things sweet. Ta-da! My unicorn would run around and make stuff nice and neat. I, I don't know that he looks too happy about that. With unicorns, you don't get sad, nor grumpy, mad or cross, because each time you start to frown, they give you candy floss. You can only see their eyes and teeth and I can't even see their noses through the candy floss. You can see the unicorn's horn. Their favourite food is ice cream. I wonder if they do a multicoloured, fluffy, sort of unicorny poo. If I had a unicorn, the games that we would play I'd wash and style his silky tail and plait his mane each day. Unicorns are caring, but also super fun. Each night we'd watch a movie and we'd ask, well, everyone. Unicorns are very rare. They're loyal, kind and true. Perhaps if you wish hard enough, there might be one for you. I think this is the little girl's dream here. I think she's dreaming, flying around in fairy tale land. Because there's the giant. There's the little girl. And there's a fairy. Butterfly, mushroom. Oh, they all have friends. They've all got unicorns too. There's the dragon. <laughs> there's another little pixie. I think that's the little girl's house there. I really hope that you enjoyed If I Had a Unicorn and you enjoyed reading it along with me and looking at Alex's amazing illustrations because we had so much fun making this book. We had so much fun imagining all these different situations that the little girl might find herself in with her magical pet. Um, I guess that was the point of all these books. It's really to switch on your imagination and think about what life would be like with an extraordinary sort of pet. And I think the whole point is that it's set very much in the world of the little girl and her friends. So um, it's all about what things, you know, how, how, what would it be like to take an absolutely enormous pet to school with you? So that was in, if I had a dinosaur, what would it be like? Would, the, would, would your dinosaur be clever? Would your dinosaur cause chaos? Um, I know that when we got to, if I had a unicorn, we felt that the unicorn would be pretty chaotic <laughs> in your life. A, a simple trip to the supermarket would never be the same again if you had a pet unicorn. Um, but I guess also the other point of the book is not only imagining this extraordinary pet, but also relating that to having a regular pet. So you'd have to do all sorts of practical things um, for your magical or enormous or very slow and laid back slothy pet. Um, so you'd have to think about what food they would like to eat. 
you'd have to think about what exercise they might need to take and as well as all the other all the other things that go with with having a pet um, anyway I, I really hope <laughs> that you enjoyed the book it's the publication day today so happy publication day to us and thank you very much again Moon Lane TV for inviting me on. Bye-bye.